Hey guys, this is Jeremy with I Kill Orchids and I just wanted to come to you real quickly and give you an update on the two orchids that are going to be given away in our drawing in the next couple of days. Um, we're only a few days away here and we're wrapping up really quickly. Uh, these guys are doing awesome. Um, the one on the right, he had three spikes originally when he came to me and these two spikes both bloomed um, amazingly. They were wide open when they got here. They looked great. This guy has not opened completely, but he is very fragrant. I'm not terribly surprised he didn't open because as you can see on his bloom spike here, he had a little bit of a deformity. No big deal. He's been doing great ever since. Um, he has opened up. I don't think in the future you're gonna have any problems with this guy just putting on excellent blooms and growing and looking amazing. Um, he has a couple of brown spots on him. Nothing has spread, nothing has grown. I've been keeping an eye on him. They were there when he came. So he's looking really good. Um, his, his roots are great. I mean, he's just really, really happy. This guy had one bloom spike on him for sure with the start of a second when he came. Whoever gets this one is going to have three blooms very soon after the drawing. And this bloom spike was kind of an interesting story. It actually got bound up down in this leaf as it started to grow. And about four days ago, I noticed it and it had this crazy zigzag pattern going on. So all I did was just open up this leaf, which allowed the spike to pop out. And in that four days time, this spike length has doubled. So he's really happy to be growing and, and moving forward. Um, he does have this crazy little cockeyed thing in him, but again, no big deal. You know, I'm sure next bloom cycle, he's going to do absolutely gorgeous for whoever gets him. So these are our, our, our orchids for this month's drawing. I'm going to put mine into a full water culture just because everything that I'm reading and everything I'm seeing and everybody I'm talking to, uh, they have pretty much said there's two issues with Miltoniopsis, especially in the United States, anywhere outside of like South Florida and that is um, water and temperature, keeping them cool and um, keeping them moist enough. I've heard a couple people do semi-hydro that has been really great. They've had great success with that. My other Miltoniopsis is doing amazing in full water culture, so that's what I'm gonna do with the two that I'm keeping. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that, or at least how I do it, so you can see what's going on with the two that I'm keeping. And then if you want to, you can also do it with these guys. They've both got you know great root structures from what I'm seeing. I mean, there's a couple here that are dead or in bad shape, but the vast majority of the roots are looking like they're in excellent shape. So um, I think if you do it correctly, these are not gonna be something that's grown in a greenhouse. They will be, you know, you'll wanna keep them inside because of the temperature. Um, but I think you're gonna have a really great time with these guys and really enjoy them. They're, they're very fragrant and very pleasant and they've, they've done an amazing job of actually filling up the room that they're in with fragrance. So that's the update on these guys. I don't want you guys to miss out, so make sure that you're enrolled for the drawing or you're registered for the drawing. If not, go to ikillorchids.com and get registered. Also spread the word. The more people we get involved, the more orchids I can give away every month. And um, we're already gearing up for next month and I've got some amazing things already planned for next month for you guys. Um, including an interview with the grower of the orchids next month so he can tell you specifically a little bit about the care for them and what to look for how to care for them um, and what they're going to do for you so go ahead get enrolled share this with your friends get as many people involved as possible because I would love to see this turn into something absolutely huge where we're giving away 10 12 15 orchids every month so share it with your friends Here's to your orchiding success. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.